Good morning! You awake now? Right on, stay tuned because we're gonna be loading the big boys today. These ones here are 43,000 pounds. We're gonna take two of these, put them on the trailer and go. We're gonna give you some of the stats of what we're doing, what the truck's getting, the mileage and the weight. Stay tuned. Good morning, wheel burners. Well, today we're gonna try something a uh, little different. Well, I'm gonna show you something a little different. I've already been doing it, it's a new week and I've already been working on these for since yesterday. We're now running quads. So now our weights are significantly more. And of course the rate is significantly more, um, but the ingots are significantly bigger. Uh, so it's a lot more fun going down the highway with these uh, Maxed out uh, load with this um, the two ingots truck trailer and load. We're gonna be at about a hundred and eight thousand pounds um, I know some of you are going. Oh, yeah big fucking deal hundred eight thousand Yeah, but to some of you that don't do this kind of work um, That are used to driving around with just eighty thousand pounds or, or less You know what go put a hundred and seven or hundred eight thousand pounds on your trailer and see how your truck performs uh, see how it uh, see how it drives see how it goes through di different areas um, Big difference big big difference um, And see how your truck performs uh, in traffic, you know You think you need three football fields of regular space on with a regular trailer Try bringing this to a stop from 65 miles an hour at 107 108,000 pounds so anyway I'm gonna show you this. We're gonna get this loaded. Here comes my first one over there. So let's get this loaded up and uh, we'll get down the road with these. Okay, let's just go take a quick look before I throw the chains. And as you can tell, these ones are significantly bigger than the ones we were doing last week. Tell by the weight, 37,920. The other one is 37,897, so we're about 74, 75, 75,000 and change. Not bad, not bad. The nice thing about these is, is they're easy to secure. There's no special, nothing special you need to do to them. You just need to be safe, you need to be secure, you need to take your time, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be, your strap. Make sure your straps are spaced out properly. Um, and then drive, and, and drive carefully getting down look at this what a mother you gotta hop that oh i'm getting too old and fat to be hopping there we go there they are two of them bad boys And it is hot out here, so I'm gonna quit messing around with this camera and uh, and get this done. Okay, so we're loaded, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop my axle. There we go. Axle is down. Four axles on the ground. Okay, so. Five straps on each, uh, each ingot, chain on the front. Now, I caught some criticism from the last one. Oh, you should have two chains on the front. You should have a chain on the back. You, this is a matter of comfort. It is a matter of safety, but it's a matter of what are you comfortable with? I have five chains on there and that's a 37 or say a 38,000 pound ingot. Unless I hit a brick wall at 95 miles an hour, that ingot's not going through five straps and that chain and coming through the back of the cab to kill me. Okay. And unless I reverse at 95 miles an hour, that ingot's not falling off the back of that at 38,000 pounds. I feel safe and secure with five straps on 38,000 pounds. I feel safe and secure with five straps in the chain 
on 38,000 pounds. I have my weight covered legally. This load is legal. Okay, I'm running an open deck, which means I've gone through New York DOT four times now with these, and they're happy to see it. So, hot, hot. Okay, so we're loaded, as you know. Um, now, I had a, a viewer on the last video, and he wasn't convinced that the performance of the truck, I guess he was saying, I'm, he was calling bullshit on what I was saying. Um, he didn't believe that uh, the, the last thing it's that we were doing the smaller ones, so the loads were 55 to 57,000 pounds, and the average on the rounder was seven miles per gallon, right? Um, and he called bullshit on it. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna reset the gauge on these. Now, this is obviously not gonna do no seven miles per gallon. I will be amazed if I'm anywhere in ground six, but um, like I said, this is fully loaded right now. I'm 100, about 107,000 and change. So, but I'm gonna right here in front of you. I'm gonna reset that 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 uh, that gauge on the dash, and then I'm gonna show it to you when we pull in tonight, okay? And I'll show you what the average is. Um, now I've already done one this morning, so this is only gonna be on one rounder, okay? But it's still gonna be. Uh, 250 miles, give or take. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna go reset it. So let's go reset it, come on, come on. Oh, the air conditioning feels so nice. So, okay, so now here we are, we're gonna reset this. Now, actually, you already know what it's gonna do because I reset it this morning. <laughs> And I just got back from the first one and I did 6.1, but to show our friend, so you, you know, he doesn't think I maybe drove around empty for two hours, you know, before I brought it back and, and brought that up. Um, let's reset this. There. Okay, so now we got zero miles, it's reset. And now it just throws that number up 9.8. As soon as we start moving, it'll drop hours blah 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 so we're ready to go the time is set um i'm ready to roll i really need to wash my windshield that's why i'm not using my dash cam because the bugs out here right now are just ridiculous even during the day um so there we go let's get out of here okay so we're back and uh the day is done um as promised, I'll show you the gauge. Remember, we reset it um, when we left. So this is only one round trip, okay? This is only one, not two. I've done two. I did one already this morning and then came back, reloaded, reset, which is what you just watched. And I reset this gauge. Um, so here it is here. This is the gauge on what we've got and it's showing 6.3. So let's take a look at the gauge here. So here's our gauge. Actually, hold on here. Hold on. There we go. 244.2 miles driven. That's one round trip. Average 6.3 miles per gallon. Um, 47 average speed, 47 miles an hour. It took me five hours and 10 minutes. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I, I did not anticipate north of six miles per gallon on this. So I'm actually quite pleased with that. Um, grossed out, I was 108, give or take, about 108,000 pounds. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, I was talking with another friend of mine today, and we were discussing this, the fuel mileage issue, and uh, why I think I'm getting better fuel mileage than, uh, than I anticipated. And, it has nothing to do with, oh, I'm using better fuel or, and I'm not patting myself on the back here, okay? And this this is a lesson. Pay attention, this is a lesson, okay? It's how you drive your truck, how you use your equipment. Now, as you know, I've got a, a, a 15 liter, DD15. It's got 308 rears in this thing, long legs. It's got the DT12 automated transmission. And even with all of that, I got 6.3 miles per gallon. And a lot of that is letting the truck do the job, letting your truck do the work, okay? It's got a computer in it, you paid for it, fucking use it. 
Rule number one, when you've got that kind of weight on you, not once did I mash on the throttle. I watch all the other guys working here, okay, when they come tearing out of the yard, they, they've all got automated transmissions as well, and they just rip right to the floor. And you watch the truck, rip, jerk, rip, jerk, rip. No. Okay, this thing has a program to when it's going to switch gears at the most fuel efficient times. Optimize it, use it, and that's what I did. And that's what I've been doing with, with all, all the loads. Ease into it, just ease into the throttle, slowly ease into it. Let the truck change gears at the optimum time when it's time to switch gears. Do not mash on it. Do not have hard starts. As soon as I get any kind of straightaway, cruise control. Let the cruise control work, okay? Once you get on an interstate or on the 401 or anything like that, get your goddamn cruise control on. Any kind of hills or anything you got to pull, these things here will drop gears by themselves with the cruise control on. Optimize it. The computer will switch gears more fuel efficiently than I could ever shift gears. I've been shifting gears all these years. I can I can sh uh, switch uh, I can shift gears as, as good as anybody in the business. But I cannot beat a computer. The computer is going to beat me hands down every single time. And I'll have that argument with anybody. I don't care who you are. So at the end of the day, am I getting great fuel mileage because I'm a great driver? No. Is it because I've got a fantastic truck? No. It's just because I've taken advantage of the computer and the truck and I'm letting the truck do the work. And I'm letting the computer do the work and I'm letting the computer figure everything out. That is how I'm getting good fuel mileage out of this. Or at least what I consider good fuel mileage. 6.3 miles per gallon on 244 miles, um, pulling 108,000. Now, remember this as well. Anybody that's going, oh yeah, that's bullshit. I'm only loaded one way. I'm empty the other way, right? So for 222 or 122 miles one way, I'm loaded. For 122 miles the other way, I'm not loaded. So I think maybe, say tomorrow, I'll reset it tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll give you this. I'll reset it tomorrow morning and I'll show you the mileage loaded going down. So it's only going to show you 122 miles, but it'll show you what the computer and the truck does going down. Okay, that might give you a better idea as well. Um, so let's, we'll try that tomorrow. But for now, hey, I got no problem with 6.3. The loads are, the loads that I quoted, I quoted these on lower fuel mileage. Okay, which, everybody would do the same thing if you were me i quoted it on lower fuel mileage and i'm coming in better than i thought so it's, it's a little extra scratch in my pocket so there you go guys heavier loads um and i'm going to be this this is the deal this is what i'm going to be doing for the next little while or until i get bored to death and blow my brains out one whatever whichever comes first um with that do me a favor turn on your notifications share this out share it on your channels if you've got one um like I said, turn on your notifications, hit the like button. It's important to me. Please hit that, hit that goddamn like button. And, uh, if you're not subscribed and you're just watching, Hey, follow along. You never know what the hell I'm going to do or what the hell I'm going to say or what the hell you're going to see next. So stay tuned. We'll see you down the road.